Hey everybody, it's Matt Powers. I'm a teacher, author, seed saver, gardener, and family guy, and I just wanted to update you guys on this new garden and food forest I'm setting up in Washington. So I moved out of, you know, the, the arid climate, moved out of the Central Valley of California, moved to a totally different zone and climate. I'm in, I'm still coastal, still west coast and all, but man, is it so different. I mean, instead of growing year round, uh, you can kind of grow year round here, sort of. I mean, the snow here, the cold, I mean, just a few weeks ago, it was in the 50s at night. So the, the, the summers are really short here and they, they swing really, you know, hard, you know, and get really hot and, you know, you get tons of daylight like when it's here, but then you're cast into the shadows again. But no, no, I really like it here. I really like the rain. I, 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 I like reading and, <laughs> and so, so taking a break. Oh, is that my purple? Hold on. Let me see if there's a purple butterfly. If this is the purple butterfly, this is the one that's been staying here. Is this? I think it is. Yeah, all right, here, I wanna show you this purple butterfly. Um, you can see my solar panels oh, right there. And those solar panels are actually charging the batteries, the rechargeable re batteries for my course. Hold on, where did that butterfly go? I've got this purple, it's the same color as my book, actually. So this around so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. So this is, this is just newly installed. Man, I don't know where she went, but I've got footage of her super up close and she's just gorgeous. So she's like powdery blue and, and really rich purple. Um, and she just hangs out in my garden. Well, it's, it's a baby garden. I mean, it's just starting out. We just got, you know, some real heat. I'm, I'm actually, you know, not even wearing overalls right now. I've got shorts on. Shocking, I know. But right now, I mean, as you can see, we've got the classic. We've got painted mountain corn. Why? Because it's a short growing season here. And we want that, we want corn. And then we've got the beans, of course. We've got the beans. And then, of course, we've got the squash. We've got the three sisters right here. They're young, they're growing up together. See how this is taller than the beans. We wanna make sure that continues so they don't strangle. And you might, you know, untang I might do some untangling and put it up the trellis instead if I see something like that. But, but yeah, so this right here, this right here is my, is my, my, my guiding contour line. So this was the food forest right here. Well, is the food forest. But um, we've got some training of trees happening here. Got some chamomile, got some nasturtium. We got a, a bush bean. And so I've got bush beans down here and I've got some cowpeas down here, but they're, you know, the chop and drop annuals uh, amidst protecting, feeding, nourishing my, my perennials. So that is, is just a berry um, that is that is a uh, blueberry and we've got right here gorgeous gorgeous we've got this is um, an asparagus and it's starting to set seed I'm excited about that we got of course our strawberries we've got a little bit of um, holy basil here actually um, so yeah this is this is just you know supporting the the baby food forest here. We've got things like, huh, you snuck in, it's a radish. We got raspberries. We've got like all the stuff that I kept saying already, but we've got a few more things. These are rampant contest squash and they're gonna go down the hill off the bottom of that. And then we've got more, Roman, uh, more chamomile, got, more Josta berries, or no, no, these aren't Josta berries. These are, um, they're from Grow Organic. They're, um, oh yeah, currants. That's right, not, not Josta berries, currants. Uh, and then, oh yeah, you can see right here, it's a beautiful, beautiful, wispy, willowy asparagus plant. And actually there's one further on down where you can see the flowers start to form. So we can go down there and look at that. So yeah, there's a lot, there's, it's just all started out. We just, we just began, oh, but here, hello. Can you guys see this? You guys see the, the seeds growing? So yeah, this is the um, beautiful asparagus. I love asparagus. I love the, the right bright red. Oh yeah, and then there's rhubarb right there. 
that rhubarb right there. And yeah, we've got black locusts down there holding down the fort. In this area, I'm going to be doing um, a fig tree in. We're going to be having the uh, the, the entryway for for the for the wheelbarrow will be right here, and it'll come up here, and then you'll be right here. So this is the annuals, and this is the perennials. And what I did was this is on contour. And this is equidistant off of that. So this is subtly breaks the contour right about here. And either I'm going to dig that down so it matches this height, or I'm going to put a spillway here and have it fill up, spin spill here, and then keep going. I haven't decided yet. And then over here, if you turn around, um, I'm gonna be going here up so you can get that, that wheelbarrow through there and then we we'll be planting here and then we we'll be planting here and then I'm gonna have actually off the wheelbarrow path coming down, I'm going to be having a spillway. So the spillway right there is going to um, have the water run off from there and then it's gonna come down here and have water run off here. So we're gonna have two spillways right here and here on this. And that's going to allow for the water to really drain. We get a ton of water here. We have well-draining soils now. Oh, well, here we have well-draining soils because uh, we we didn't have a, that well-draining well soils. If you remember and have been watching with us for a while, you know that I had hydrophobic soils. So we have soils that have very little silt, mostly sand. Uh, I mean, very little clay, like 1%, 3% clay at most in, in spots. And then it's it's just silt and sand. So over here, we have we have just the, the, the cow peas. And with watering here, you just have to get things wet. Um, you just gotta feel around and just get things wet, like watering for like five minutes maybe. Nothing too drastic. So, wow, my phone has held up pretty well for like, given the heat. So I've got kale, we got different kinds of squash and beans. We got, oh, we got some peppers right there. This is gonna be a really cool pepper, purple pepper. This right here under this tomato plant is another pepper. But yeah, if you dig down here, you can kind of see the soil. And you can see how it's just a lot of different ingredients. A lot of you know it's a, it's a it's a healthy living mulch you know lots of life in there and then we got cilantro and then we've got tons of tomatoes going crazy we got the basil we got super happy swiss chard plenty of swiss chard what's this is a carrot is a carrot right here yeah it's own it might that might be ready should we pull it up I don't know. I'll, I'll let my son pull it up. No, um, they 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 want it. They want to be the ones to harvest. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and then we've got we've got uh, some lemon cucumbers. So basically, what's going to happen in the next five to six weeks is all this is going to get you know super tall, but not not as tall as I used to go. Let me flip this around. As you probably remember. Remember, you know, I used to have stuff with like, you know, 16, 20 feet tall, like plants and everything. That's not going to work here because the sun is so, at such an angle. You're going to create such like long shadows. I was, you know, in a totally different climate, different angle, all these different things. And so I've got to work with the climate, work with the timing. And so this is all going to be covered with greens, covered with um, squash, beans, and most of it, I'm not gonna have to step inside until it's time to harvest. And then most of it's gonna travel down the hill. So it's gonna like cascade on down the hill. Um, so, so yeah, this is, this is, you know, the cold temperate garden uh, terrace that is, uh, and what I did by putting it equidistant off of that is a key line concept. It's a key line design concept that I learned from you know, they're agrarians um, or, or with uh, Darren Doherty at the, uh, the Rex online course. It's amazing. He's one of the teachers in the Advanced Permaculture Student Online. 
Um, I go over this exactly. We do it on paper. We do, you know, the calculations. We run the numbers. We do all of it. So this this is just some fun stuff. And obviously, it's not done. See, this shows you how many rocks we have. This shows you like what's really going on. <laughs> you know, the reason we got all these fun spillways is because look how many rocks there are. I mean, there's just rocks and rocks and rocks. And so the more you dig, the more rocks you find. Um, but I just kind of fell in love with the rocks. I really think they're beautiful. And I really think that it's gonna be beautiful to have it, and I need to put them there, but to have it all the way around. And then check out these spill these spillways. Uh, I really like how pretty the spillways are as well. So just, it's gonna be a lot of food. And there's food now, you know what I mean? So here's the spillway, and so the water comes down here and goes down to the next level, and then continues going on and then goes down to the next level so this spillway thing in the, the rock thermal mass along here to keep my my season going this this is going to be a huge deal being in the cold temperate and having this happen so season extension minimal watering lots and lots of greens three sisters lots of food um, some herbs a, a lot of perennial awesomeness. Oh, uh, yeah, there's more stuff down here that I left out, but it's okay. There's, once it's all mature, it's going to be super fun because you guys get to see the flowers and the fruits and such. So I hope that you have a wonderful summer wherever you're at and staying cool and enjoying nature outside. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. See you soon, guys.